At 7.02 right now, a crime alert in southeast Atlanta where police are investigating a shooting that killed a teenager. At least three other teens were shot last night. CBS 46's Bart Mount Lyons is live on Glenwood Avenue across the street from their Waffle House where police are investigating this and where that all started last night. Bart Mal, what can you tell us? Yeah, as you said, Megan, I'm here on Gledwood Avenue where it all went down. According to police, four teens shot, one of them a teen girl killed. Uh, APD says it started after multiple fights erupted and were broken up. I want to take you to earlier of the scene of what it looked like when police were there actively on the scene. As the teens walked near the Waffle House, shots went flying, killing one girl, injuring two others, and also injuring one boy. Now, the conditions of the three surviving teens weren't released. However, Price said they were stable. According to Atlanta Police Department Major DeAndre Price, there's no evidence at this point as to whether or not the shooting was gang related. It's too early right now to say if it's if it's gang related, it does not appear to be gang related at this time. It just sounds like preteen fighting that escalated to gunfire, which is unfortunate, um, unfortunate for the gun violence that we have here in the city. I want to take you live back out here. You can see that shattered glass at the Waffle House. Right there is where Price said that gunfire also damaged the glass of the Waffle House restaurant. Fortunately, not hitting anyone inside. We're still getting more information about what took place here. Um, as it comes into the newsroom, we're going to inform you. Stay tuned. Uh, coming up, I'll break down how Price is describing the violence in Atlanta. In Atlanta, I'm Barbara Lyons, CBS 46 News.